Nigel, in your book, you say that corporations need to resource their operations appropriately. Mm -hmm. How should they go about this? In one word, flexibly. More flexibly than they used to have to do. Um, there's never been a time where there's been more change in the nature of resources, particularly technology. Uh, we don't know what the new technologies will do for us. Certainly they'll have an impact, but on gauging the exact nature of that impact, well, it's actually quite difficult to understand. But it's not just technology, it's people as well. It's the way we organise our people. Just as important a resource, of course, things like the gig economy, zero hours contracts and so on. All these things are changing the way the soft resource, if you like, is, it has to be managed. Um, in other words, if you go back a few years, resource was about utilising resources as best you can because demand was uncertain. Now, not only is demand uncertain, but supply is uncertain. You don't know everything that technology can do and people can do. There's another important aspect, I think, of, of resourcing, which is to do with knowing how to set the right objectives for managing of resources. Um, for example, if you're wanting very fast response as a strategic initiative, then the last thing you should be doing is measuring people on how they utilise their resource. Broadly speaking, unless you've got very high levels of standardisation, fast response means underusing resources. So you pay your money and you take your choice here. You know, how do you want to use those resources versus what kind of supply service do you want to give?